Okay, 8G1, this is 8th grade geometry standard 1, video 3, and we are going to be talking about rotations today. A few terms to know, I'd like you to copy these down in your journal and uh, define them. Okay, a rotation is a transformation in which a figure is turned about a fixed point called the center of rotation. And we have right now three different types of rotations. Um, along with their coordinate notation rules. Um, again, this is very, um, sometimes very confusing when you see the X's and the Y's. Right now, they're, sometimes they're going to be reversed. Uh, the signs are going to be changing. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take you through the process of each one of these different types of rotations. Before we begin, I think it's a good reminder what clockwise and counterclockwise is. Uh, clockwise, we're going to be going, um, according to this arrow, we're going to follow it down to the right all the way around. And then counterclockwise is the opposite of that. We'll take um, all of our figures and turn them downwards towards the left. The first one we have is the 90 degree clockwise rotation. So that means we are going to be taking this figure and rotating it downward to the right. But before we do that, I would like to take uh, the notation rule, the coordinate notation rule that we had on the last screen. And I have it copied on here as x, y, such that y and x are going to flip places and then your x coordinate will be the opposite of what we began with so let's see what that looks like let's take our our points j k and l so we have j k and l and write down their ordered pairs so j is going to be we have negative six positive 2. K is, what do we have? Negative 3, positive 5. And then L is negative 1, positive 3. So if we're following our notation rule, our primes will end up, let's go, so uh, let's use a different color. So we have J prime. K prime. And L prime. And uh, again, we're going to flip the ordered pair. So the 2 will become uh, our X. And then we're going to take this opposite value so when you're multiplying by a negative whatever your x is you're going to take the opposite of it so negative one multiplied by negative six is positive six in k prime we're going to use that five the y isn't going to change it's going to just switch over to the x position and then your negative three will become positive three and you have your three staying the same and your negative 1 will become positive 1. So if I were to go and graph this um, 90 degree clockwise rotation, it's going to land on these three ordered pairs. So we'll go to 2, 6, uh, 5, 3, and 3, 1. And let's name them. J prime, K prime, and L prime. And uh, I, again, I always emphasize using a straight edge or a ruler. I'm going to freehand it here. And there you have a 90 degree clockwise rotation of the figure. All right, another way of doing this is simply taking your picture. And this is kind of a cool part. I, I enjoy um, watching this. I'm going to take my picture, 
Um, you could take your paper, you can take your textbook, and just turn it, physically turn it 90 degrees. So that would be um, one turn there. And we're going to end up with the same um, ordered pairs. If you look at it, now you're reading the what used to be the y-axis. You see how the y-axis right here kind of um, became the x-axis as we rotated at 90 degrees. And if we're looking at L prime, well, what is L prime here? If we're using our, our regular number line, this is positive 1, positive 2, positive 3. And then we go up one. This used to be the y-axis. We're going we're gonna to pretend like it is. So we go 1, 2, 3, positive 1. So let's go check L prime. And there it is, positive 3, positive 1. Um, your k looks like it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, positive 6. Oh, sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, positive 5, positive 3. And that checks. And your j is 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 2, 6, and they all check out. So again, just by uh, rotating your paper 90 degrees clockwise and then readjusting your axis, so this is no longer the y, it's just a new looking x axis, and, and here is your y axis. So you're, you're going to treat it like. Um, the regular coordinate plane, even though you rotated that picture. All right, so we have a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation. So that means we're going to take that figure and we're going to turn it left this time, and we're going to do it one one turn. Uh, that's a 90 degree turn, and uh, let, let's just do that with our paper. Let's just turn that the opposite way one turn which would get us to 90 degrees this is now the x-axis and um, this is the y so we'll get rid of that and let's just write down our ordered pairs so we'll call this j prime k prime and L prime. And here we go. So from the origin, we go, let's go to the J first. So we'll go negative 1, negative 2. And then we will go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now we're at negative 6. The K prime, which is over here, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then negative 3. And the L will go 1, 2, 3, and then negative 1. And again, if you just went to use your uh, counterclockwise notation rule right here, which uh, happens to be negative Y now, comma positive x again we reverse the variables but this time we change the sign of our um, original y value and that will get you the counterclockwise rotations okay the final type we have here the 180 degree rotation now notice it doesn't say clockwise or counterclockwise because either way you turn it, you're going to end up um, upside down, or in other words, uh, two turns, or in other words, um, 180 degrees from where you began. Okay, so basically you're just taking your original X and your original Y, and you're changing their signs. The negative means multiplying by a negative one, which ultimately changes the signs of your values. Okay, so why don't we do it both ways again? I think that'll help you out a little bit. So let's go with uh, J, K, and L in the original forms, and then we will turn them into primes. So the J was, uh, what do we start with? So we had uh, 
negative 6, 2. The K was negative 3, 5. And the L was negative 1, 3. And now let's use the quick notation rule for this rotation. And recall, uh, according to this particular rule, we just change the signs of the original ordered pair. So negative 6 becomes 6, 2 becomes negative 2. We have 3, and now negative 5. And we have now positive 1 and negative 3. Well, uh, that would be a suffice answer. That would be okay to have. Uh, it would be correct. And now I want to show you just turning your paper 180 degrees. And let's see if we land on those exact same points. So let me turn this. Here is a 90 degree turn. And then one more time we're going to go to 180 degrees. And then label our axes. We know that the horizontal axis is x and the vertical axis is always y. So even though you see these negatives in here, um, disregard those. Um, we're going to pretend like it was just the uh, original or normal coordinate plane. Let's check this out. So uh, j is located right here and that is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, positive 6, negative 2. Oh, look at that positive 6, negative 2, and it checks. And then your k is at 1, 2, 3, positive, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5. So 3, oh, look at that, 3, negative 5, and it worked. And the L is at positive 1, negative 3, and lo and behold, we have the same values. Okay, in your journal, I'd like you to define the given terms, uh, write a few sentences on maybe what you learned that's new from this video, and if you have any questions on either the notation rules, which sometimes get a little confusing, or maybe how to, to be turning your paper clockwise, counterclockwise, or the given amount of degrees. I'll see you in class.